Well, here I am in Milton trying to <laughs> capture a swarm in a pine tree, and unfortunately my branch cutting adventure did not go according to plan, and I'm just waiting for the disrupted cluster to re-centralize um, itself. Somewhere on this pine tree is the queen. I'm not sure quite where. I think she's in this branch here, but she could also be up there. After several hours of careful and tedious struggle, being about 40, 45 feet up in this tree, I finally got the branch lowered down on a rope and using some lemongrass essential oil, I'm trying to coax the bees off the branch and into this temporary nuke box. And hopefully they will feel that it's a comfortable place and move in fairly quickly. As you can see by the movement, there's a lot of downward movement going on here. And the bees are really starting to stream their way into the box. So I'm not sure exactly how long this will take, but maybe another 15-20 minutes. Once they get going, it goes pretty quick. It's one of the interesting phenomenons about the bees. Once they decide to move into a spot, that's all there is to it. I'm all suited up. It's been about five days since I captured the swarm and put it in the trash can. You can see how I had cut the hole in the top of the lid. Um, it's a pretty warm day out. The bees are really working hard to try to cool that thing off because it's black. It's absorbing a lot of uh, solar radiation. I've got my smoker going. I'm actually going to open it up and uh, try to extract them out of there and get them into a proper hive, which is getting set up right down here. Um, in a little while, once I get the lid off, you will see how I had wired things up inside to get them to accept the honeycomb that I put in there earlier. Here's the bucket. This is the way I have it set up. You can see the four frames of honeycomb wired into the side of the bucket with the branch that they were on from the pine tree. There's a lot of bee activity on the side of the bucket because it's pretty darn hot in there. Not enough honeycomb. Um, hopefully I I've got the frames rested into the hive box. I'm going to begin removing the wiring and trying to get the frames placed in a proper position so that I can put the next box on top of it. I can locate the queen. Figure it out. What was going on with that hive? Um, they weren't behaving quite as I expected them to be, and that's the. And there's a very good explanation for that. The small swarm that I caught yesterday on the tree and put in the mating nuke, that was the queen from the bucket hive. Apparently, she decided to abscond with a few of bees. The rest of them were so confused that they didn't go with her. Um, but since I had her in the nuke box, now I've got her in the top of this hive, headed down there while the rest of her worker bees find out where she's at and crawl in and join her throughout the rest of the day. Um, I would have liked to have had that small mating nuke. It would have made for an interesting uh, educational tool, but I guess things will work out this way just the same. Top two medium supers are empty. They're just basically acting as a frame right now for the mating nuke so that she'll crawl off. And it's again a busy week. I've got swarm number two. It looks like it emerged from one of my hives unexpectedly. I'm in the process of trying to encourage it into this nuke box. Um, hopefully this goes better than the last time. Otherwise, if I think it's going to get uh, dicey, I'm going to pull up my uh, bee vac and suck them up and do them that way. Um, let's hope I can avoid this and they'll just cooperate and crawl right in. Well, I caught the queen, located her probably about 15 minutes ago. Um, she kept on wanting to crawl out of the hive box. So finally I had to plug up all the holes and put a queen excluder on the top. Um, now she's stuck in there and the bees are starting to smell where she's at. They're gradually going to work their way through those holes and into the hive. I'm going to just keep disrupting the cluster, uh, and as I do that, my hope is that they will recongregate on the top of the hive where, the ho where her pheromones are the strongest and work their way into the holes, um, eventually just doing it all on their own. So this is what it looks like when a swarm reclusters itself. 
The queen is obviously in this box. Um, the, the bees are a little.